in this lecture we'll cover the concept of displacement of fringe that is fringe shift before we do that let us do some basics in we know in the young's double slit experiment we are eliminating these two slits by a common source so the phase difference at both the points a and b is zero so the first that is the central fringe bright spot will come at the middle point at the axis where x is zero and at any other point you may have dark or bright fringe depending upon the path difference here the path difference was zero and now let us take a location x where there is some path difference between these two rays which are starting from a and b and reaching at p let this angle be theta that is from the central line theta this will also remain theta approximately and if this is d this is d sine theta and this is d now this angle we have taken as theta these are all very small angles so this approximation can easily be done this angle is theta this angle is theta now since this is theta which is small you can take xm as an arc so theta is xm upon d so the path difference delta is equal to sine theta into d and sine theta can be written as theta because this is small so theta d and value of theta is xm upon d and this is d this distance is xm we can write it as x also it is just a matter of nomenclature so delta p is the path difference for this point now suppose we place a slab in the path of ap and the slab has thickness of t and refractive index as mu we know that when light passes through any material having refractive index mu and thickness t for these two end points say x and y being the same the optical path optical path increases by t times into mu minus 1 this is the increase in optical path so here the distance ap dash effective distance for the path ap dash will be ap which is the real distance plus increase in optical path because of the slab now what is the path difference path difference at point b was bp minus ap initially which was xm d upon d this is without slab the new path difference for the same point becomes bp minus ap dash is equal to bp minus ap minus t into mu minus 1 now let this path difference be zero to have a central fringe at this new point p so to have that now bp minus ap we know is xm d upon d minus t into mu minus 1 is equal to zero let it be let the thickness and the mu be such that this now becomes the central fringe so xm d upon d is equal to t mu minus 1 so the shift in fringe is basically with the central fringe which was here now reaches at point p and this is d t upon small d into mu minus 1 this xm was initially some fringe because based on this path difference delta p being m lambda for the bright fringe was m lambda was x 
d upon d this was for certain bright fringe but now we are taking the same point which now becomes the central fringe that is the first that is the central max central maxima fringe like this without the without the material it was at the center now let it be at this point p where you had some other fringe initially so the shift which has happened this is the distance x the fringe which was supposed to be here without slab has now reached at this point p and this shift is dt upon d u minus 1 and how many fringes have shifted you can know that fringe width is d lambda upon d so divide this shift the total shift upon beta gives you the number of fringes shifted so it becomes dt mu minus 1 upon d divide by d lambda upon d so it comes as t times mu minus 1 upon lambda is this fringe shifts the number of fringes which have shifted and this is the distance which has shifted from the center towards point p so please note that fringes will always shift towards that direction where you have put the slab had you put the slab here the fringes would have shifted downwards so it always shifts towards the point where you put the slab you can also have a situation where slab is put in both the paths and let slab be having thickness t in both and mu1 and mu2 so accordingly we can solve that situation also we can have a separate lecture on that this lecture is basically confined to what shift in fringes take place and how do we find out the distance of the shift in fringe